So I'm at Disney World Hollywood Studios, and there we go. The ticket actually has got the 50th anniversary logo on there, so that's pretty cool. And uh, we're waiting to get in right now. So into Hollywood Studios we go. So our first ride, Star Tours. See the big walker there. So let's see outside, we'll see the uh, inside. Alright, there's C-3PO fretting over something. r 2 Galactic Security would like to remind you to keep carry-on luggage and packages with you at all times. There Never go. accept packages from any life form or droid you are not the, familiar with. Some of the inside stuff going on with warnings. We must all be vigilant. Spies here. I'm a spy. Suspicious of me at all. Strange, perhaps, but... <laughs> oh, definitely strange looking too. Get closer to these guys. I guess. Do you mean you are doing all the work? You are ungrateful little twit. I just about had enough of you. All right, going on here. This very important job and this restraining bolt. <laughs> Yep, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Anyone heading to the shoot for the big hollow chess tournament? Well, a little bit of advice. Let the Wookiee win. That's what I hear. Hey! We end up in the gift shop. That's where they're having you build lightsabers and have all kinds of other stuff going on. Darth Vader costumes, there we go. For kids. Those things are porgs. Yeah. Got a little Millennium Falcon. Uh, oh, that's like a candy. Oh, I think I'm actually in the checkout line. I got lost. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Then you go to candy. That's like those, uh, whatchamacallit, Rice Krispies treats. All right, Galaxy's Edge. Came through the tunnels, and then just an overall look around the scenery, the big mountains. The <coughs> Bless me. Yeah. Garbage cans look like out of this world. It's amazing. And there's a couple different planes down there. They got gunners. Pretty cool. What? Yeah. That might be that, yeah. Yeah, man, a lot of Falcons in the back towards Toy Story. But yeah, this is just a general view of Galaxy's Edge as you walk in. Some of the other cool stuff around here. Pretty crazy. Little pieces of a droid left. They got them all netted up. That's one of those. Um, yep, this is a chop shop for droids. It's pretty neat. All right, Liam Falcon. I think she got in line already. Yeah. Yeah, right where that dude's hanging the end of the line sign. So this is it. The line takes you all around it too. There she is. Alright, we're gonna get in line to ride the smuggler's run. Alright, we're right up against it now, right underneath it. It kind of it, line's really cool because it takes you like all around it. You go below it, beside it, above it, every which way. So right now we're kind of underneath it, kind of like right where you would get on. I guess this would lower down and you'd walk right on. But they're not opening up right now. I think I wanted to show and actually I started. Oh, there we go. I can see it there. 
they still got the guards up, the plastic guards. So in between the queues, you're still separated with the plastic guards. And there's the best view up above in the queue. So you come up right past the engine repair. And uh, you see the top, really the top and the back of it. So, get a good look of it up here. There's Honda. inside this Millennium Falcon. You can't see it, but there's the game that Chewbacca and C-3PO played where Chewbacca will rip your arms off if he loses. And um, we are gunners. Our, our other people with us are pilots. And then we got, I guess, our engineers in the back. So good, I, I, don't, get to be, I don't get to be an engineer. Oh, you're gonna be flying. Ready. Let's go. Oh, no, I don't know how I got in here. Repair test. Hit your flashing buttons. Engineer. I'll do what I can help out. Right, I think I should pilot, train hands. Push the flashing button to take off. Push the button to take off. Oh, push it. Then you'll fly right and left. I got so much in it. Pilot on the right. Pull back on the stick to fly out. Oh, we crashed already. Weapons are online. Get out of here. Let's 
Falcon for life forms. <laughs> you see, this happens sometimes when you travel through uncharted regions of the galaxy as much as I do. It is not unusual to find a stray species or two clinging to the hull. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, but keep looking. The last thing I want is to let another Rata loose in here. I am not cleaning that up. <laughs> Did you hear that? All right, I am making All an right, executive decision. Everybody out. Okay, we're here at the canteen. I think I'm gonna go for the Andorian fried chicken. So we'll see what that's like. Never eaten in here before, never been in here before, so this will be a whole new experience. Here's our walk inside. Oh, okay. There we go. It looks like we're gonna go up and do our order. Alright, so we both got the same, same thing, which really turned out to be chicken, macaroni, and uh, broccoli. And they have Coke Zero on this planet too, so we're good there. So we're gonna dig in and uh, see what it's like. All right, we're inside the gift shop. So the food was good. The macaroni was really good. The chicken was really good. It actually came in like little squares, as you saw. I thought that was like the cornbread. I was like, where's the chicken? But uh, yeah, the meal was pretty good. And now we're in another gift shop looking at like, I guess like first order stuff. You know, all kinds of interesting uh oh they got creatures out there that's cool so that's pretty neat it's pretty crowded it's kind of like a crowded day today i was surprised oh my god they got like cloaks and stuff wow display only do not touch okay the other thing is encased Sith chalice. Oh wow. Oh, Emperor Palpatine's like head. Like a, like a, I guess this is from his entry into the Sith Hall of Fame. 130 bucks for that. How that looking? Crazy. Three dollar tokens. There you go. I got cup. Oh yeah. That's, there's heads over there. Oh, there's Snoke. It was thrown. I wonder. I wonder if he's a, a two-piece set. <laughs> and they got these chalices for 25 bucks. Got a Vader on there and some other symbols that I don't really know what they are. We got lightsabers, or at least people in here with lightsabers. And, uh, some other memorabilia. I think it's the necklace Princess Leia had on the first movie. I'm not sure. I think it was a thing that Rose wore in the newer movies. Interesting. I've never been inside this gift shop. But it's like circular with everything like up against the wall. There's... Oh god, they got that creature for that uh, attack Luke in episode 5. Abominable snowman. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, look at that. Darth Vader's castle. 
Ooh. That's crazy. Why you would build a castle for yourself on a planet where you got the form on, I have no idea, but that's what he did. This is pretty gross. Interesting. Well, let's see what else we got going on. Oh, that's crazy. These things move. It's wagging its tail. That's a, oh, that's the, uh, the cat from a... Uh, yeah, oh man, it's a cat. I forget what they call it. Oh, um, it's from the cartoon. It's from Rebels. Oh, I can't think of the name of that cat. Yeah, there they are again, uh, loaf cats. I had to look it up, but yeah, that was from... Uh, yeah. So that's from the Star Wars Rebels cartoons that was on Ezra's home planet. Other gift shops over here. So this whole place is like a bunch of like, it's like a little mini shopping mall of Star Wars. So over there was where the loaf cats were, and then here's the other stores. Yeah, clothes and belts and just a bunch of stuff. like Jedi robes and all kinds of stuff. Boba Fett's helmet. <laughs> so we got a Mandalorian helmet. That's specifically like Boba Fett. Uh, a Mandalorian helmet, Jim. Yeah, it's Boba Fett. His helmet. It's got that weird green. All the other ones are like silver and yeah. his stuff is all green. That's cool. It's like a mask almost. Yeah. Huh. They got his jet pack down there. And whatever this thing is. Cool. Mm -hmm. Those ones have the water bottle fans, portable water bottle fans. Yeah. These are like 20 bucks. Those are nice. You, you put in your fan will run when you power it, you just squirt the water out of it yourself. I got black. What does it say? Black Spire Outpost. Oh, I guess it's the name of this place. 17 bucks for mugs. Oh, yeah, that's cool. A little Millennium Falcon. Oh, this is the Falcon one, yeah. Yep. Yeah. You get a whole bunch of them. T shirts. These are like kids' t shirts. These are going for 25. They're all like really little stores. There's like kid shirts and a couple of mugs, a mug with a Millennium Falcon handle there. And some Millennium Falcon shirts over there, so a lot of Millennium Falcon stuff. So you got phone covers and like keychains. <laughs> And uh, oh, a little seat cover. Hats. Oh, cool. It's like everything, I guess. We got uh, shirts, coffee mugs. I'm not sure the coffee mugs. You're looking good. Yeah. Black outpost. Well, you know what? That's 25 bucks compared to. Yeah, that ain't bad. Compared to. Um, I went to the ABC commissary for drinks and I just had to get this. Jimmy Kimmel and Guillermo for the uh, Jimmy Kimmel show. That's awesome. I just saw that. I couldn't pass that up. I had to get it. All right, there's lunch. <laughs> and then we had our lunch. We stopped in for a beer. These guys got a hamburger and fries. We're going to enjoy the beer and the, and the atmosphere. With all the ABC themed shows. Oh, there's Michael Strahan over there in the corner. You got Family Feud, Press Your Luck, Home Economics. I, I, a lot of these shows I haven't even heard of. Oh, Michael Strahan's doing a hundred thousand dollar pyramid. Okay. So now I'm here in Launch Bay. Look at that Death Star. Still trooper outfit for one of the pilot. Oh, there's a destroyer. 
That's cool. Yeah, Imperial Shuttle there, TIE Fighters, and all the bad guy stuff. That's kind of cool. A Boba Fett ship. That's neat. Yeah, Slave One. Huh. Oh, that's, that's the first thing you see when you watch your first Star Wars film. Huh. Kind of cool. They got an X Wing, a B Wing. Kind of neat. Concept art. I. I guess this was for the Dust Star, doesn't really say. Oh, look at that, a long time ago in the galaxy far, far away. Cool. Oh, well, that's one room of launch bay. Let's see what else they got. It's coming downstairs. There's like a whole wall. Does this like go backwards through the movies? There's Ray and Kylo Ren and Luke and... Yeah, there's sequel trilogy. Original trilogy. Oh yeah, there's Rogue One, like right before, and then we should go into the prequels. Yeah, there we go. There's Thrawn and oh yeah, all the cast rebels. I guess yeah, Ezra because he's got his lightsaber slash blaster. Ezra looks different. He doesn't have blue hair. Oh yeah, there's uh, Han Solo. Then yeah, here's Palpatine and Obi Wan and Anakin fighting. There's Ahsoka Tana. That's Baby Anakin. Anakin. Yeah, that's all the way to Maybe episode Darth one Vader. with Darth Maul, Padme, everything Anakin as like a teenager, there's Count Dooku. All the way down to cool. Darth so uh yes, Bean Ren and that whole crew from the from the ghost. Nice. Kanan. Yeah, all those guys. That's kind of a cool timeline. The way they did that. Neat. <laughs> Oh yeah, the Inquisitor lightsaber. Yeah, he was in the cartoons. He got killed off pretty early. I don't know what they were. They were like assistants to Darth Vader. Count Dooku's curved lightsaber. Oh yeah, Darth Maul's double lightsaber. Darth Vader's just ordinary lightsaber. I've never seen... Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Saw Ventress, yeah. She was in the cartoon too. She battled Anakin and Obi-Wan. She was in the Clone Wars. And then Palpatine's one that he had up his sleeve. Hmm. Cool. Oh, they got helmets there. Yeah, helmets, yeah. Looks like they got just all different Stormtroopers helmets, all the way from Phasma's, like, blaster-proof helmet, which, why wasn't everybody's helmet made out of that? <laughs> all the way down to, um, a traditional helmet. Oh, they tell you, Range Trooper, AT-AT driver. No? Oh. Oh, they literally just called Phasma Helmet. I was wondering if it'd say the like Commander Helmet or something like that. It's called Phasma Helmet. Phasma's the only one that gets that helmet. <laughs> cool. Oh, there we go. So we got some helmets. We got Sabine Wren's helmet there. She was the Mandalorian with the pink helmet. That is cool. Luke Skywalker's helmet. Sabine Wren's helmet. I don't ever seen it in a cartoon, so that's what it would kind of look like in real life. Neat. And who they got? Wedge. Oh, Wedge's helmet. Okay. Wedge and Poe Dameron's helmet. Yeah. So these are like probably the two best pilots you see throughout the whole Wedge movie. Wedge and Silly, yeah. Yeah. And S Sabine was pretty crafty with everything she would do. And of course, Luke. Neat. Okay, so now we got lightsabers of good guys here. We got Obi Wan Kenobi's lightsabers. There's Mace Windu with the purple lightsaber. Ahsoka Tano. Now that's her green lightsaber. She had kind of like different ones, like whitish ones. These are all good guy ones now. There's Luke's. Luke's green one. So, uh, oh, cool. They got Yoda's and they got Ezra's lightsaber, which is all dinged up. His was a combination of a lightsaber. And you see that little hole on the side. That was a blaster too. So he could use it as a blaster, pull a trigger and blast, or have it as a lightsaber. Rebels, some concept art. There's Ezra. I guess he's flying and Kanan up on top and Sabine in there and all the rest. Luke and Darth Vader fighting. There's the guys at Hoth. Oh, there's the battle. Yeah, at, uh, basically launched Clone Wars. Hmm. Now they got destroyers there. I 
is this C3PO R R2 D2? Well, I guess R2 D2 is originally gonna look different. Oh yeah, they got the Inquisitor. Grievous was insane, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Him fighting Obi Wan's Obi Wan's home. Who is this? Darth Vader and somebody. He fought Obi Wan, but I don't know. That doesn't really look like Obi Wan. His Inquisitor, his Callus, who ended up turning good. Um, Captain Phasma. Pretty much looks like her concept art. So it is BB-8. Hmm. The spy droids. Hmm. Oh, Jar Jar Binks, I guess. Well, I don't know if that's Jar Jar. It's, that is a Gungan. Oh, just a generic Gungan. Yeah, the Tuscan Raiders. Luke and Yoda. Wow, Yoda looks kind of different. Nope. Other oh, answer. That pretty much looks the same. Well, oh, Falcon destroyed the Death Star, the pod racing. An X Wing and a get fighting a TIE fighter. And then all the movie posters. So these are are these all the movie posters? So they go oh they go in an order? Well, we'll get all those. Yep. All the way from Phantom Menace all the way to the end. Episode two. There's three. And then of course the original and New Hope. The Empire Strikes Back. Return of the Jedi. Avenger of the Jedi. Okay, well let's first six and then I don't know what Revenge of the Jedi is supposed to be. Is that a book? That's not the way it goes. <laughs> they didn't put the other in-between movies in like Solo or anything either. Alright, so that's that. Very crowded, so we're gonna try to kill some time on the Skyliner and chill and relax in the air conditioning and see where we're gonna end up stopping. Maybe the resort, maybe at Epcot, who knows? Of course, Epcot we can't get into, so yeah, we'd get about two inches in Epcot. Might as well just fly over it. might have to switch on trams at Epcot. Yeah, if we want to take the tram, we might do that. We don't know what we're doing, so no promises. Skyliner, might have to switch Skyliner. We might, yep, we might. What's the thing with a big gun? That's the Dolphin, Swan and Dolphin Hotel. Oh yeah, oh you can see Epcot from there. Look, there's the uh, golf ball. There's the golf ball. With the Spaceship oh, Earth. Right, John. I don't see it. Yeah, yeah, see it yeah, peeking yeah. above the trees, yeah. I was in Epcot when it first opened. It was on the open. And it's nothing like it used to be. Oh, I know. Yeah, probably had a few changes. Moments, we will be traveling over the headwaters of the Everglades. Ooh. The water that flows from the protected wetlands around Walt Disney World Resort travels all the way to the Everglades, the Atlantic Ocean, well, and the Gulf of Mexico. The that's the highway we came in. To yeah, park. that's where we parked. Yeah, that's just, just a parking lot. There's a couple park. times when there's cars parked all the way out here. Oh, yeah. There is. There's Great. spots for it, yep. Well, the Magic Kingdom has like six parking lots like this, and it gets yeah. full. Yeah. Could you imagine what the wait times would be if all those were full? The magic, That's what I'm saying. The magic yeah. Kingdom yeah. parking wow. lot, you can fit all of Disneyland in the parking lot. In the parking lot. lot, yeah. Of course, you could probably fit all Disney Magic Kingdom in the parking lot, too. It's so huge. You have to think of tram to get anywhere. And there is the some swamplands. That's what Disney looked like before, before there was Disney. Yeah. Miles. That's what the land looked like that he bought. The same size as the city of That's what Orlando looked like. Pretty much. So we decided to get off at Epcot. Yeah, now it's on this side. Yeah, that's where we came from. Yeah, we came all the way down there, and now we're sort of backtracking. Kind of interesting. I don't know. There's the highway. And that is the Tower Terror, isn't it? I believe so. Yep. Interesting. So it just circles around those resorts, takes you away, and then brings you back up. There's a boat. That's not I don't know what that is down there. But we're almost there. We're going to off and maybe hit the monorail and go to some places. I think that's Ratatouille down there. We couldn't, uh, yeah, there it is. Yeah, there's Ratatouille. 
Really? Last time I filmed this, yeah, it wasn't so uh, it wasn't open yet. That's our favorite place to eat is over in Italy. Yeah, uh, there is Italy. I wish it was there. There's France. That's Eiffel Tower there. But that's the world showcase right there. Because he's French. He's all around the lake. Please remain seated yeah, until the doors there. automatically nice. open. When exiting the they garden, they didn't have all the country supervisors. Oh, yeah. Can we get off? Can we get off here? Let's take it. Let's let's put up the wall. We're uh, on a boat. We're on the Friendship 7 right by Epcot. So, uh, what are we going to do? Near the AC. Near the AC, okay. So, we're near the AC on the boat. Right there's Epcot right there. There's the, uh, the Skyliner we were on. There's, there's still Ratatouille. There's the Eiffel Tower. And uh, we're getting up again. Musical chairs. Anyway, we'll uh, see what the boat rides like. I've never been on this thing. <laughs> All right, let's relax and take a boat ride. Well, so the boat actually, we were coming in. I thought, man, a boat looks like it's going to smack right off the wall, and it did. And uh, I don't know, it smacked off the wall, and I thought, well, maybe it's just a normal thing. And. Uh, got on the boat and I guess they were looking at the front of it and they were like ah we need everybody to get off this boat <laughs> so I guess we uh my version of being on the Titanic <laughs> except I was able to get safely uh, off the boat before it even uh went on its voyage here so I think we're gonna walk to, to the resort up here and then uh take a bus over to where we want to go we gave up on the boat, so no boat ride. All right, we got a map tour. So we're on. I don't know what any of that is, but there's the map. We're at Caribbean Beach. We just decided to stop and see if we could have a drink at a bar somewhere. And we're just kind of wandering around aimlessly. So there's the old Port Royal. Yeah, there's the Skyliner back here. And then. Port Royal is where the pirates hang out, and that's where the rum is. Is it? So let's try it so out. So straight ahead. Right let's by the lake. Let's try that one. Hey Liz, we have your permission to turn the air up as much as you want when we get back. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm regretting not buying that little spritzer yes, fan. Right? Oh, this. Yeah. I'm regretting leaving so I'll right bet you the bars over there look where she orders uh, umbrellas. Hey honey, where's your bar at down here? Uh, I know that there is one, uh, one of the other pool, but I bet you there's one probably somewhere close to that pool there. That's, that's what I, uh, okay, yeah. thanks honey. All right, thank you. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. That's, that's sort of what they told us. I said, is there a pool by the bar, bar like, and she said to come down here, so that must be it. All right. That was pretty far away though. Keep making our way. Yeah, it is far away. It's far bar. A far bar. Yep. A far bar. Yeah, it's a far bar. Arr. It's a far bar. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. So it's cool. So I guess this is the beach. Here's the sand. They got the hammocks. They got the log chairs out there. So they've made it into a little beach. By the lake. Still making our way to the bar. We got to go over that bridge. It's a far bar. Good. All right, I got the Kraken. No, I mean, the Kraken is never a Kraken, no matter where you're from. It's always a Kraken. It's I'm, always I'm drinking the Kraken. Kraken. Thank you. No, it doesn't. Well, I'm drinking. I'm drinking whatever that is. We're at the Cabana Bay it's restaurant. It's still Kraken, no matter where you're from. Is this Kraken punch? Can they do a frozen one? Whatever it is, it's good. Oh, they got the chicken wings that we had in um, oh, yeah? Okay. So we got the wings. We got, what is that? Like, like fries and, oh, it's like fries and like meat. It's loaded fries. It's loaded like fries. Oh, that's cool. We're here, we're right by the pool. The Cabana Bay is pretty neat. That's a pretty amazing. How are the wings? Oh, you don't know yet? Yeah, it's yum, yum. Oh, they yummy? There you go. Looks like you got a little sauce, but I guess I'll. Dig in what do they give us like sliced carrots or something? Mm. And something uh like that. what is that ranch on the side? Well give them a shot. 
It's a sauce. Okay. A mysterious sauce. Well, let's try it all. Hulk Hogan. Eleven nine ninety three. So these are all the uh, um, Pee Wee Herman. Oh, there we go. Martin Short. Wow. We're in a good spot here. Yeah. So these are all the uh, Patty Duke. Oh, yeah. I, I love that show. And they can night. So these are all the um, autographs that, and the handprints and footprints and et, et cetera that were here when this ride was a great movie ride, which I like better than the Mickey's Runaway Railway that they rethemed it to, but the, the Mickey's Runaway Railway is still good too. 324.96 Chevy Chase. Oh my goodness. I can't tell that name. I really can't tell that name. But uh, yeah, all the different autographs and handprints, etc., that are in the ground, that were more, uh, I guess they left those alone when they rethemed it, and that was a good idea because you don't want to put this to waste. Um, Suzanne Summers, oh yeah, I remember her from like Step by Step, and like the, that commercial with that exercise equipment. But yeah, all, all these, uh, all these great autographs, and uh, it was called the Great Movie Ride. It was. Uh, I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, so to see it go. Mickey's Runaway, we're always going to be a lot of fun. I'll film that and uh, yeah, we'll see when we get in there. All right, we've moved through the queue and inside the uh, actual Chinese theater. So a lot of the Chinese theaters left alone. I didn't retheme some of it. They re in maybe a different way. I don't remember. But this is what it kind of like looked like. <laughs> John saying hi. <laughs> and, uh, they do have some posters there from Mickey Mouse away, we're away. There we go. Mickey Mouse stuff. Tokyo Go. I, I don't know what that's reference to. And uh, so we're inside, and uh, we're gonna keep moving on, and we'll actually get on the ride. All right, there's our train.
Oopsie. Are we stuck? I yes. think so. Attention riders, we attention train passengers, please remain seated. Stop. Your runaway railway will now resume. Oh, there we go. Down again. <laughs> oh, so oh. Come on, baby. All right. She just had to meditate real quick. This is the one man stream. We're going in. All right. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Hello. Yep. There he is. Oh, the Epcot blueprint. Yeah. Oh, there he is pointing to Florida. Yeah. Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, all the old pictures. This is pretty cool. So, 
those are all pictures of him. I guess that's him as a baby and his parents. I guess these are baby pictures too. Ah, there's Walt's high school photo. Oh no, that's Abraham Lincoln. I guess this is an early inspiration. Walt's railway dream. One of Zorro Straub's sold candy and newspapers on the train out of Kansas City. Oh, okay. So he was in railroad stuff like me, like me. Penny Arcade. We have that at Kennywood. Small town America, Walt only lived in Missouri. Huh. Of course, this is kind of like Magic Kingdom stuff. The Emporium. 1917 Walt and his brother Roy. Wow. So. My older brother Roy would always see my sister Ruth and I had a tour. Roy was one of the kind of people that were known, so they're barely struggling to make ends meet. That's yeah, that's crazy when you think about it. I just sat down and drew cartoons, and I guess that's where it's all started. It's nuts. Yeah, the Steamboat Willie, like the first Mickey Mouse cartoon. This is like a whole timeline. Of like everything he's ever done. Mickey Mouse since 1932, Silly 15 Flowers and Trees. Hmm. And it just kept growing from there. It is possible to control the relative speed with which each individual part huh. moves to animation technology. And here now, as our same movie yeah. is seeing, the way the multiplayer. Greenie's cabin. Huh. So a replica of that. Wow. Art of animation, dreams and innovation. That's pretty cool. B&B, that was a classic. What we got going on here? Another railway thing. Martin's wife Libby moved into a new home in a fashionable Holmby Hills area of Los Angeles. Steam built a steam railroad to travel around the backyard. Big enough for adult kid, adults and kids to ride. Wow. We definitely love those railroads. Hmm. Another dreams and innovations thing. Oh, there's a castle. What do we got going on over here? Oh, the Sleeping Beauty Castles, Disneyland. 1954, it's a reproduction of the original model. Yeah, never seen that castle. Seen the one here in Florida, but. That is TBD for me. Sure. So there's Adventureland. I can measure scale that. Oh yeah, the Ferris wheel, yes. We don't have one of them here. That's a Disneyland thing. Oh, there's um, the Tower of Terror. So this is the Guardians of the Galaxy version, or what is this? This looks weird. Um... Uh, Galaxy Edge will debut in 2019. Well, that, that's a lot of date now. Oh, there's that roller coaster, too. Another thing we don't have. The Ferris wheel and the roller coaster. Wow. I think it's pretty cool. There's a loop in there. There's an inversion. All right. I didn't realize that there was one. I see it here in the model, though. Let's see, it looked pretty simple. Just a bunch of ups and downs. There is one loop. So there's the, uh, the uh, Ferris wheel. And then whatever this is over here, I don't know what all the spikes are coming out of the water. I'm not very familiar with Disneyland, so looks like there's a carousel over there and a bunch of little shops and stuff. Oh, it looks like it has one of these things that like swings. I'm guessing that's either a swing or a drop, but it's probably a swing. Wow, it's like right by the roller coaster. That's crazy. I like that. Huh. 
Cinderella Castle Mall. Want another one? Hmm. And a bigger one. That's interesting. And then here's all the Star Wars stuff. Oh, there's the Tron. Oh, a picture of Tron. So that's coming. The Florida Project. Rock and Roller Coaster. That's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's Frozen. I get, is this Everest, I guess? Yeah, gotta be. This is Florida. Of course, the Star Wars stuff has been incorporated. There's the big railroad around Magic Kingdom. And I guess it's Seven Dwarfs Mine Train down there. I don't think it's Thunder Mountain Railroad. So all kinds of stuff here. This is Small World. That's one of the designers. I've seen that lady. Or her, I've seen her daughter on it on a, on a special about it. Oh, they had a guy making faces out of Abraham Lincoln. And the other guy that made the animatronics, the robots and such. Oh, wow. Well, Ava, I've never seen you quite like this. It's the Abinator. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's like a bunch of motors and stuff, yeah. Oh, the boat? I don't know. I've seen him drive boats once already. I'm not impressed. Oh, it would be. Not the way they drive. <laughs> we had to evacuate immediately. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they had a little whoopsie, that's all. I couldn't drive that boat any better, so I shouldn't talk. I'd have that thing sunk before it, like, went two feet. There's a Walt Disney Theater. Yeah, they have a show going on. They count down, so they got one going in 11 minutes and 20 seconds. That part is the Caribbean costume. And that is a wicked cool ride. What are all these rings? This is the Caribbean. Blah, 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 blah. I don't know. What is this? Relics from the film. What is this? Cruella's dress. Oh, this is from the 2021 thing on Disney Plus. Okay. Yeah, she had a lot of dresses. So I guess maybe Emma Stone actually wore this. I don't know. Hmm. This is one of 47 costumes. Wow. What we got going on over here? So pretty much walked around in it. Descendants 2. Okay, so those are the kids of the bad characters. Like, yeah, Ursula's daughter is one of them. And I think Carl DeVille's daughter is one of them. I can't remember the other two. I saw the first one. But, uh... Yeah, that's pretty much the whole museum, so... I think we're out of the museum. Not, that is an orange raccoon. So we're here in the gift shop. Pretty much working our way out. Stitch. Some Halloween stuff. The castle. Oh, they got the T-Rex from uh, Toy Story. Perfection. Pirates of the Caribbean. Board game. Monopoly. Disney Monopoly. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Um, some sort of Snow White thing here. Oh, oh, it's a, a, a doll. And they got uh, Brave and Elsa and Anna. Okay. And uh, other stuff here, hats, sunglasses. Where do those guys go? I lost my party. Oh, there they are. Candy, all kinds of candy. Popcorn, flavored popcorn, cotton candy. Supper. Pens, I guess. I don't know what these things are. I keep seeing these a lot now. Like, I don't know what they do. I don't, I don't know what these are. That's a Haunted Mansion one. 
Oh, they got pins. Big, 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 big pins. See if they have another thing for my phone. Shirts. Ears. They're usually like 25. There's they have more than a quarter water balls. Yeah, Mickey. I'm just kind of flying through here because we're on our way out. Forky. Cups. Um, I don't even know. Sometimes you're just stumped. Shoes. Those are like the Crocs. Um, yeah, I got me there's like Sally and stuff from like uh, um, Nightmare Before Christmas. Little purses, uh, girl tank tops, and long sleeve shirts. And that's about it. More tank tops and shirts over there. And then there we are. There's the exit. All right, saying goodbye from Hollywood Studios. Thank you very much, and I'll see you at the next video.